dear students welcome to new academic year 2020 and 21 you are going into the 9th standard 9th standard is as like as the 10th standard now so as per the 10th standard you have to study the english subject into the 9th standard also so you are already prepared you will prepare for the 10th standard today we first start unit 1 1.1 life poem written by charlotte bronte students this is an optimistic poem which is written by charlotte bronte she conveys her personal thoughts about life in this poem the poet the poetess describes that life is full of sorrowful times and also happy times the poetess encourages the people to see the bright side of life she gives the message of hope optimism and happiness through this poem hello students first we get the information about the our poetess charlotte bronte she was an english novelist and poet she was the eldest sister of the three among the three bronte sisters who survived into adulthood and whose novels became classics of english literature she was born in 21st april 1816 thorton yorkshire england she died in 31st march 1855 howard yorkshire england her married name is mrs arthur bell nicholas her pen name is carol bell her father's name is patrick bronte he is a clergy man her mother name is maria branwell bronte they have a six children and they are the three sisters her sisters names are emily and anna bronte she was the eldest sister among them her notable works means she has wrote so many poems novels her first novel named as the professor which is published in the 1857 she wrote another novel novel which named as shirley in 1849 shirley is the first regional poem sorry shirley is the first regional novel in english another is velvet which is published into the 1853 she is the one of the finest novelists poetess and governess she is an english novelist a strong narrative of a woman in conflicts with her natural desires and social conditions she her genres are fiction and poetry into that section she had wrote her writings in this slide students you can get the information about the charlotte bronte you write this into your notebook and before to understand the meaning of the poem let's see the warming up questions a first question is there are many popular lines like life is a game play it well life is a journey keep going ahead discuss and write down a few such metaphorical lines about life you can make them up yourself means here you have given one the two examples or two popular lines here written which is on the life so you can you already saw that kind of a lines into the internet into the any other platform you can saw that lines here what is the doing that it's a metaphorical line how because there is a comparison between the life and the other thing 
see the first example life is a game played to win means a sportsman has playing the game very well so here life is compared to the game and the po the line said that you we have to the live our life also well so here i am making the two uh, sentences you can also find out or you can also make it yourself life is like a riding a bicycle to keep your balance you must keep moving second life is like a beautiful melody only the lyrics are messed up so here also the life is compared with the bicycle and life is compared with the beautiful melody and so what are the speciality of the bicycle riding bicycle that speciality we can attach this to, uh, through this line to the life because when we are riding the uh, bicycle at that time we have to maintain the balance and we have to must pedal it and so uh, we are keeping ahead and ahead or back side so into the life also we have to maintain the balance of emotions thoughts and our incidences and so we have to keep going up ahead and up ahead but there is no any kind of a reverse thing we can go into the back side of our life so here is the second warm up question prepare as many acrostics using the word life as you can two examples are given below you might know about the acrostic students because last year also we see the examples of that acrostics into the acrostic what we are doing we are taking a one kind of word like here a word is taken is life we write down that life word vertically means each of the letter is written step by step downside and whatever that letters you have to find out the words which describe to the life but now the word should be starts with that letter means like c here l i f e we are writing down one by one down side but here each of the word are related to the life live in freedom ever live in freedom ever means it all as all words are giving the meaning of the life this one is another life life means liberty life means integrity life means fraternity and life means equality means with that through that words we can describe the life word so you can make acrostic of any other words also like mother father and you you yourself also your name also so you can make the acrostics from the any of the word you can make uh, your acrostic from your in name also which are described you how you are or what kind of qualities you are but generally into the acrostics we are using the um, adjectives which are giving the description of that word now here is the third question into the warming up is listen carefully and write the word in appropriate column teacher hopeful teacher says that words and you have to what you have to do you have to dis, differentiate that words into the positive feeling and into the negative feeling so there are so many words are here hopeful lonely happy jealous surprised shy loving proud cheerful anxious nervous excited embarrassed scared silly comfortable peaceful 
डिप्रेस्ड इंथुजिस्टिक मोटिवेटेड इंस्पायर्ड थ्रेटन क्रस्ट students all these words are little bit you can know about that words so you have to dis differentiate that words i have already done that question see into the positive we can see the this kind of a feelings hopeful happy surprised loving proud cheerful excited comfortable peaceful enthusiastic motivated inspired so these all are the positive kind of the feelings how which are the negative kind of the feelings lonely jealous shy anxious nervous embraced scared silly depressed threatened crushed angry these are the negative kind of the feeling so like that questions are also comes into the examination so at that time you have to read properly and you have to differentiate that words so students let's get started to our poem 1.1 life written by charlotte bronte it has a 24 lines that poem has divided into the three stanzas first stanza has eight lines second stanza has four lines and third stanza has a 12 lines into that po poem the poet tells us we have to enjoy the every moment of life we shouldn't focused on just the good or bad things life is about the balance we should have to thankful for everything that life gives us we should enjoy the good times while they last since bad times don't last forever every situation is temporary into the life so we did not have to stuck into the difficult situation we should remember that it will not last forever bad times are always followed by the good times or good times always followed by the bad times so there is a one kind of the shadow game of the good things and the bad things charlotte bronte our poetess encourages us to enjoy the sunny things as long as they last in this poem also the poet says that in moments of great trouble hope only and only hope will rescue us if we have a hope then we can achieve each and everything so that is the message of our poem so students let's get the meaning of the poem line by line first i read the poem i am making the stanza shorter because you have to understand the poem each and every line but first stanza is has a eight lines life believe is not a dream so dark as sages say upon a little morning rain or tells a pleasant day students see the difficult words are also given sages means saints wise men or a spiritual masters foretells means predict about the future or tells about the future events often oft means here the it's a archaic word of the often means it's a short form into the ancient time often word is written like this as you know that the charlotte bronte was born into the 18th century so she used that kind of a word now see the meaning of that lines what the sages say see student life believe is not a dream means we have to believe that life is not a dream life full has a full of gloominess or full of happiness so dark as sages say means the sages or saints or wise men said that life is not a dream student 
when you met your grandmother grandfather at that time they are also said that life is not a easy thing sometimes now with a little bit get frightened about the life by uh, by thinking of their uh, towards the life so here also the sages or wise men said that life is not a dream believe it that often a little morning rain foretells a pleasant day students morning rain means here not exactly the rainy seasons morning but morning rain here metaphorically used or morning rain is compared here the small problems or a few problems means upon a little morning rain foretells a pleasant day pleasant day is also here used as a metaphorical pleasant day means here used as a sign of that happy day or a beautiful happy incidences means what is the meaning of that line often a little morning rain means often a there is a little bit small problems are coming into our life but these are the predicts these are the telling about the a future into the future there are the happy day is coming means the poet said that into the beginning of the poem life is not as gloomy or as painful as a dream means into the dream sometimes we saw the very happy incidences and into the sometimes in dreams we saw the very threatened very different kind of the incidences we see into the dreams life is also like that life is not same as it is the life if today we face the difficult things then sometimes the next day we experience the happy things so the poets in the poet has said that life is not as gloomy as painful in as a dream as the wise man says that some kind of a few problems are coming into the first time in our life but these are the one kind of the sign or a token of the future's happy incidences though we are facing a very uh, different difficult time but it has a one kind of the sign that into the future we can experience a beautiful happy incidences so this is the meaning of the that lines see the next line students these are these four lines are also of the first stanza line sometimes there are clouds of gloom gloom means what sadness means sometimes there are clouds of gloom but these are transient all if the shower will make the roses bloom oh why lament its fall means into that first line the what the poet they said us sometimes it students we so many times we are observing the clouds or the sky into the each day we have seen a same color same kind of the sound clouds are there into the sky no they are also each day and each time they are looks different so the poet has said that sometimes there are the clouds of gloom means sometimes there are the very sad moments are comes into our life sometimes there are very bad incidences comes in our life but these are transient all transient all means temporary these are not permanent means though sometimes we felt that in these in those days we felt so many bad incidences so many bad experiences comes again and again so at that time we thought that our life is full of miserable but students the poetess is very optimistic she has a positive attitude and she said that student these clouds means these bad in moments are or sad moments are very 
temporary it's not a permanent so after that what will happen if the roses will make the roses bloom sorry if the shower will make the roses bloom oh why lament it's fall what the poet says students into the line a few problems are coming into the beginning of our life but these are the sign of the our happy path which are ahead into our future sometimes the sad uh, sadness or some of the bad um, in the experiences comes in our life and they have make the blur of our lives means we cannot uh, see the clear picture of our life but we should have to remember that these gray clouds or these uh, black clouds will go within a short while they do not stay long the the poet said that goes on to say the poet said that we should not feel that um, we should not feel very sad always that uh, uh, we are only and only we are facing so much problems why we are lamenting lamenting means express the grief and regret means if those uh, there are a sad incidences comes into your life but do not regret yourself sometimes there is the blooming roses are coming in your life students blooming rose is uh, used as a metaphor means you, blooming roses means opportunities or some kind of the things that which we can achieve our success is called as a means here blooming rose is compared with the life's opportunity so the poet into that four lines what the poet has said that some kind of the sadness or some kind of the bad experiences comes in our life but these are not temporary these are all temporary these are not permanent so why we are lament of about this all sadness why we are always expressing the grief and the regret about that bad experiences but some kind of that uh, the opportunities will come into your life into the future and because of that opportunities you can achieve your success so this is the meaning of the poetess lines students here is our second stanza taken second stanza has only four lines see that lines rapidly merrily life's and hours fleet by gratefully cheerily enjoy them as they fly see the difficult words rapidly means fastly quickly merrily means happily sunny hours means happy moments so what the poet says into these lines what the message the poet is gives the poet is first said that it is too much important that we did not get upset with our failures or uh, or the difficulties or the if we have see the defeat into our life that do not get upset or about on that things but sometimes into the future you get the opportunities to find your success so the poet is here said that we have to keep ahead moves ahead always means we did not see back side or we we should have don't have give up we should have so hope into our life and so because of that hope and our positive attitude we can achieve our success what the poet says into this line rapidly merrily life sunny hours fleet by here sunny hours again make a metaphorical line um, sunny hours means here happy moments means if, if see students if the um, life is a full of combination of the happy moments and sad moments but we so much so uh, sad uh, sad things are so much giving impact on our mind because we are 
thinking that when uh, that uh, sad incidences are um, goes fastly but the whenever the any kind of a happy incidences comes in our life we did not we thought we thought that it goes very easily when we are going back 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 sorry back side of our life at that time we remember as very less happy moments because it goes very fastly so the poet said that rapidly and merrily miss life's happy moments are very going very easily or fastly but it goes with happily gratefully cheerfully enjoy them as they fly though the happy moments are going fastly from our life but we have to enjoy them that is the main thing the poet has said us though in very less times the happy incidences we experienced but we have to enjoy them and means the poet said that we should not forget to enjoy the small moments of joy and the happiness because they are passing very swiftly means we didn't experienced happy incidences many more in our life but how much times we get the happy incidences we have to enjoy them lot and so here we can see the optimistic or positive attitude of our poet is here is the third stanza what to death at time steps in and calls our best away what though sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy way students what the poet has said into this line what though death at time steps in students here the poet is is talking about the death but steps in means what to become involved into the difficult situation is it the death is involving into the any kind of a situation after that we can't do anything so here death is a one kind of a means not movable motion is there but the step in is a moment of our human's life so here we can see into this line personification figure of speech means which non living thing or which unmovable thing shows that doing the human's action at that time we can see the personification figure of speech so what the poet is said into this line what though death at time steps in means stepping in and stepping out or coming means involving into the difficult situation or uh, not involving into the difficult situation these are the human's quality but sometimes what the we all know that death should be comes any time we did not know about the exact time of our death so the poet is said that the death comes any time and which calls our best away here best is used as for our friends our family members our relatives means our favorite persons calls away means another word for the death means any into the any time the death is comes into our life and it calls away for our beloved one or favorite one means any kind we any time we can see the our beloved one's death but though because of that what we have to do we are crying and crying always but what the poet said that into the another line see what though sorrow seems to be over hope a heavy sway students i don't know you have faced this kind of a situation or not sometimes we see that our any kind of the relatives had uh, 
calls away or dead at that time if you have seen that kind of uh, uh, incidents at that time you thought that the sorrow is winning means the sadness is winning over the life means if anyone's our beloved one is died at that time we thought that we did i did not want to live a life or uh, at that time we saw that sorrow seems winning means the bad incidences are overcoming into the happy incidences so this is a time of, of that and so adam but the poet has said that we can only get over from that sorrow because of the hope if we have a hope any hope is a very strong quality or strong emotion if you have a hope into the towards of, towards of the life if you have a hope then you can overcome on the any kind of the sorrow or any kind of the bad experiences students into this uh, uh, line what do sorrow seems to win into this line also we can see the personification figure of speech how humans qualities of that winning and defeating means into the game we can, we will win or defeat but if the sor sorrow is a one kind of a emotion and so here the poet has said that when we saw the death of our beloved one at that time we thought that the sorrow wins means sorrow for the sorrow the poet has uses the word win means here a uh, non living thing is acting like a humans and so because of that into that we see the personification figure of speech means here student the poet said that if so many times so many into the bad incidences when we thought that the sorrow or a defeat or overcoming of our emotions or our life at that time only hope he will influence of your and only because of the influence of hope you can achieve anything into your life see the next line yet hope again elastic springs unconquered though she fell still buoyant are her golden wing still strong to bear us well students see here hope is compared with the bird which has a golden wings and which had fallen but not had been defeated it still has wing under his bright wings and it can still steer at through all the sorrow and lead us to happiness hope is the strongest feelings of the world that the poet said to us here the poet is compared with the elastic spring also elastic springs you have understood the characteristics of the elastics we can broken the elastic we can stretch it we can little bit bend it but we can't broke the elastic so hope is like that you have to remain the hope like a elastic into your life the hope should not be unconquered unconquered means hope is not defeated if you have a hope into your life at that time you are the very you winning person in the this of your life means the poet are also said that yet hope again elastic spring unconquered though she fell still buoyant are her golden wings buoyant means that which can raise upwards means poet said the poet has said that here the bird which has a golden wings it has raised upper and upper side means anyone could not fail her 
Smith Eve have a uh, so much have a strength in his, in her wings in her golden wings so no one can defeat that bird so hope is like that if in into the any kind of a personal person if there is a hope is about a life and so for that person he can he the unconquered person no one can defeat to that person so the poet said that do not lose the hope into your life hope is a very strong feeling students see always the elder person said that if the one door closes then five doors opens means though we get the defeat into that field but do not get upset do not lose your hope make a become a stronger and stronger with your hope and you can choose the another fields and so many fields doors open for you so the poet said that still buoyant are her golden wings still strong to bear us well means if the birds have a hope and if the birds golden wings are strong so she can fly high and high up into the sky like that if any person have a hope then that person also with the, with her strongness with her courage she, he, he could be or she could be fly and fly or he or she will get the success into their life next see the next line man pulley fearlessly the day of trial bear for gloriously victoriously can courage quell disappear manfully means students bravely fearlessly also a same meaning bravely or courageously despair means hopelessness and quell means end or suppress or crush what the poet has said into these lines manfully fearlessly the day of trials bear means the poet no, poet has said that you must have to become brave you must have become fearlessly means into your hope is a most strongest feeling of all feelings so what because of that you can get over into the very trial bears means a very a bad or a different kind of the incidences or a bad incidences means into your life students you can face the one day a very of a trial bear trial bear means here worst trial means experiences sometimes in your life a one day you can face a very kind of a worst incidences but you have bravely and fearlessly and with the hope you have to pass over it means you can pass those days for gloriously victoriously can courage quell disappear means you can get the victory you can uh, you can make your life gloriously how but how only and only hope and courage will disappear that hopelessness means if sometimes it if the so many bad incident experiences comes in our life at that time we thought a very negative feelings or a very negative emotions we feel that time so the poet has said that the courage and hope is most important and only and only courage will end the hopelessness of your life or crush that negative feeling of your life who will do that of your courage means for your courage you can only and only crush or suppress or end the hopelessness means you are your courage is you because of your courage and hope you can achieve your whatever you are decided the poet said that 
we should have to hold on the hope and courage in our life only those things are will vanish our uh, negative feeling of our life or or because of that we will only become a victorious person and we can despite the all the ob- obstacles of our life points majorly we have seen into this poem that is this poem is very optimistic and very motivating poem it also inspired us lots of the poet has said that life is not as gloomy as a painful as a dream that is the important thing we should not feel sad when we are into the difficult situation we have to understood some of the problems or some bad experiences and happy incidences also come in our life we also not get upset with the failures as they are stepping stones of the success and we have to go through it we should remember to pick ourselves upside or moving away ahead always we should not forget to enjoy the small moments of joy or happiness because they are passing very fastly hope is the strongest feeling that we can get through the worst incidences or experiences of our life we hold on our hope and courage in our lives because they can uh, helps us to pass our life very and it encourages her to pa- towards get success of our life